Hi everyone. When I first posted a picture of this pillow on my Facebook page, I had so many requests for making a video to explain how I made it. And it's really a case of sometimes something that we may uh, be fabricating may seem very simple to us, but maybe challenging to others. And there was also a request of how did I do the button and how did I attach the button? So let's go on into the workroom and I'll make a video and share it with you, okay? Come on, let's go get started. My inspiration for this pillow came from the fabric. I used a fabric that looked as nice on the front as it did on the back. And it had a nice texture to it. Start by marking four even squares on your fabric and cut them out. Be sure and add a seam allowance. Next, lay the fabric squares out and then flip two of the fabric squares over so that now you're working with the right side and the wrong side and then the wrong side and the right side. And then pin these together. At the machine, I'll stitch a half inch seam allowance. And then for these, I'll go ahead and finger press these open. Now, if you're working on a fabric that's not going to allow you to finger press it, then you'll want to go to the table and go ahead and press these seams open. And then I'm from the back side, as long as I like the color of the bobbin thread that I've got in, then I will go ahead and do my top stitching making sure that I am stitching a very straight line with my top stitching. And then I'm going to turn it and do the same thing, making sure that I'm keeping an equal distance from that seam for both of my top stitching stitches. Okay, and then I'll take the second piece and do the same thing. Finger press it open. And then I'm going to lay the two pieces out and make sure that I've got the pattern and the texture of the fabric in the direction that I want. And then I'm going to place them right sides together. And I want to make sure that I've got the seams lined up exactly in the same place. So what I like to do is at the machine, I'll just go ahead and start in the very center, making sure that I've got that seam lined up. And then actually start with the needle down in the fabric exactly in the center. Oops. There we go. And I'll stitch from the center out to the edge. And then I'll flip that and I'll start in the center and go out to the edge again. But first I want to check and just make sure that I've got it exactly right. Yes, I'm happy with that. I've got my edges even. And then I'll take this 
and I'm going to finger press this open just like I did the other two seams. And I'll make sure that my top stitching is nice and straight. And for this, I'm using a, um, a thread that blends because I want the top stitching stitched there, but I don't necessarily want it to be a, um, a feature of the pillow, where sometimes I may choose to use a contrasting top stitch thread. Now this fabric ravels a bit, but I'm not worried about that because I'm going to add a lining piece to the back of this pillow front so that none of this stitching is shown on the inside. So there's the back side, and now here's the front side. I've got some little pieces of thread that I need to get off of there, but there is the pillow front, and that's all there is to it. To complete your pillow front, you're simply going to cut a piece of lining the same size as the pillow front, and then serge around all four sides to create a clean look on the inside of the pillow. Now, to complete this pillow, I use my flat flange detail around the edge, and you can learn the flat flange technique that I use on my PDF available on my website, designsbydonnaatlanta.com. For the button, it's as simple as cutting multiple colors of thread, threads that coordinate with the colors of the fabrics that I used, and then I tied the button on using a square knot. You remember that, right over left, left over right. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you'll be able to make a pillow um, similar to this, and I hope that it's given you some other ideas and some inspiration for your pillow designs. Be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date with other videos that I've got available. And be sure and uh, share any comments with me in the comments section below. And then share this with your friends, anyone that you think may benefit from watching it. Have a great day and have fun sewing and creating.